here I have a method called wide m1. So how to call this method? How to call this method? Hmm. In how to call the method? method? We have to create an yes. object. Uh, create object. Create an object. Call with uh, reference variable. To the class. Uh, so like this. A A is equal to new A, right? Yes. And then call the method a dot m1 on reference. So a dot m1. Now your question is, hey Suresh, hey Suman, what happened whenever whenever we will create an object like this? That is our question, right? So my question is, what will happen whenever we will create an object like this? Anyone, any idea? So observe, right side is called object. This is called what? Huh. This object. is called what? Object. Object, object nothing but some value and assigned to one reference variable A. Yeah. So here, the generally we'll create we'll create an object by using new operator. So whenever we'll create an object by using new operator, that object get created in the heap area where where object get created heap area so, heap area. Yeah, just to make sure you are understanding. Yep. So here, just I will give a obj object. <coughs> Questions? Now right side part. So right side part. Whenever we we'll create an object, <coughs> generally we will create an object by using new operator. New. Wait, wait, wait. I will complete. I will complete. Then you can ask. Okay, sir. Yeah, for right side, nothing but creating an object by using new operator. So whenever we will create an object by using new operator, then that object is stored in the heap area. And left side is called reference variable. Always reference variable stored in stack area. So here small a is the reference variable. That reference variable stored in where? stack stack area yeah now reference variable will pointing to your heap object reference variable will pointing to your heap object that's it yeah any questions go ahead and ask this one up to this so here we will create an object by using new operator whenever we will create an object by using new operator then that object is stored in the heap area. Reference variable will be stored as part of the stack area. Reference variable will pointing to heap object. Yes, any questions? Class. Basically, you know, suppose I want to uh, construct the apartment. So generally, we will construct apartment via blueprint blueprint so blueprint means just one paper is there in that paper drawing is there blueprint without blueprint generally we can't construct the apartment so here blueprint does not occupy any space does not occupy any space on the earth so here blueprint exist logically similarly apartment apartment occupy some space on the earth some space on the earth so here apartment exist physically so here without blueprint generally we can't construct the apartment so here we can't construct apartment without blueprint. Similarly, assume here apartment here blueprint is treated as class and apartment is treated as class. That's it. Same comparison. So here class keyword 
is used to define class so here class exists logically and class does not occupy does not occupy any space that's it okay now what is object so here object exist physically so here we will create an object by using new operator so here creating an object is nothing but locating some space in the memory that's it so here object exists physically so class exists logically so here so here without object creating class is useless creating class is useless so without object without object creation that's it so that is what class and object now we'll discuss variable types so here variable is just like a container which holds single value so here we will define variable by using data type using data type that's it so now variables are divided into three types three types instance variable local variable and static variable so we'll discuss today's session this one so instance variable a variable which which is defined inside the class and outside the method is called as instance variable so here class e employee in employee number string employee name so here this is the method so the variables these are the variables the variables which are defined inside the class and outside the method or constructor is called instance variables so generally memory allocated for instance variables at the time of object creation at the time of object creation so here instance variables are stored in heap area heap area suppose developer forget to initialize instance variables then default values get allocated so means for integer default value is 0 char single space similarly string null and boolean is false 
so meaning is support developer forget to initialize instance variables then default values get allocated that's it and memory allocated for instance variables at the time of object creation so here our instance variables are stored as part of the as part of the heap area that's it now instance variables are called as object level variables object level variables instance variables will store specific to particular object means you can create any number of objects to the class but every object instance variables maintain own data so means instance variables data vary from object to object that's it so now we'll discuss observe here So I will create the class with the name EMP in employee number string employee name. Observe here. So this these are the variables which are defined, which are defined inside the class and outside the method. So here inside the method, simply we will display the data. That's it. Now here, the variables which are defined inside the class and outside the method is called instance variables. Instance variables memory allocated at the time of object creation. Instance variables are stored as part of the ob as part of the heap area. That's it. Support developer forget here. Uh, here I am not at all interested to initialize any value. Then default values get initialized. So for numeric zero, string null. That's it. If you want, I will show you. Now create an object and call that method. Observe values are not at all initialized, so default values get initialized. E dot display. That's it. So integer is zero, null is one. Any questions? Any questions? Sir? Yes. Sir, yes. main method sir? is uh, employee class. No, driver is the main method, right? So, wherever drive here, okay. wherever main method is here, this one is the main method. So, from here itself, you will, you will drive the user different class. You will call the user different class. Create an object to the user different class and call the method. Sir, understanding purpose is uh, employee is uh, class uh, understands. Just e employee is user different class. Driver is the main class. So why? Because we driver class contain the main method. From main method itself, you will create an object to the user different class like EMP and call the EMP class method. Okay. Uh, parent class and uh, child class. Yeah. No, 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 no. That is different. That is different. Okay, sir. Yeah. Now, the, so here is there any values? Yeah, go. Is there any values assigned to these instance variables? Is there any values assigned to instance? Next one is here. Values are not at all initialized. Next one, I will try to initialize the values. Observe here. E dot E N O equal to hundred and E dot E name equal to A. Now observe. Whenever I'll print, so here once object is created at the time of object creation, default values initialized. After this, default values get replaced with specific values like this. Now whenever I will try to print a display method, then it will display hundred comma a. That's it. 
will draw the diagram then you can understand yeah so here guys i will draw the diagram for this one please observe now here class emp so here in pno equal to eno string e name that's it now here in the main method you are creating an object to emp class emp e is equal to new emp after object created you can initialize the values like this e dot e name equal to okay, that's it now observe so this is this is called object creation so how to create the object observe this is heap area this is stack area this is heap area yeah so here your object is created here whenever you'll observe this emp is equal new emp at that time env default values get initialized e name equal to null like this so this is emp object that's it so now e so whenever we will execute this line whenever we will execute this line then like this it will happen after this your default values get replaced so now so default value 0 is replaced with 100 similarly null is replaced with a that's it so this is overall diagram yeah now so here i told one point we can create now multiple objects to the class so instance variables vary variables data vary from object to object i will show you that example as well so here imply one up to yesterday i gave the chance to you but no one no one utilize that's why i am very serious about the class from today itself always i will give the flexibility to you to ask the questions but no one no one listen my voice always disturb disturb but i am so if you give the disturb others will also get disturbed right that is the very serious i am taking from today itself now here So here, observe here, ENO, ENAME are the instance variables. In this case, instance variables hold the data 100A. In this case, instance variables are same, but in this case, it will hold the data 200B. Observe here. That's it. Now, I am going to discuss local variable next topic is local variables so here the variables which are defined inside the inside the method our constructor or block is called as local variables local variables scope is within method or constructor or block only so we can't access we can't access method local variables from outside from outside the method that's it so everyone please mute now so here local variables must be initialized 
before usage otherwise suppose you will forget to initialize and you are using then you will get the compile time error now local variables memory get allocated memory get allocated for local variables at the time of method get method execution starts that's it now here local variables are stored in stack area stack area instance variables are stored as part of the method area that's it now here once once method execution done then local variables get destroyed <coughs> and generally method execution method execution done inside stack area that's it these are the points we discussed now observe first i will give the demo these two are the instance variables and <coughs> this this one location so the variable which is defined inside the method is called as local variable local variable scope is within the method only outside the method we can't access and local variable must be initialized before usage otherwise we'll get the error please observe here i will show you that error as well now observe here put the cursor here read it you must and should initialize otherwise i will not allow you to use it you must and should initialize that's it this is local variable local variable scope is within this method only memory get allocated for this local variable at the time of this method execution once this method execution is done local variables get destroyed generally local variables are stored in stack area that's it now run it that's it now this is about local variables now i am going to discuss static variable now static variable okay static variable so this is uh, fine for you why because on daily basis you will start disturbing right that's why i'm ask that's why i'm very serious today okay I'm just kidding only i will complete this one then you can ask the questions okay clear the variables which are defined inside the method sorry inside the class and outside the method with one keyword static is called as static variables that's it okay so suppose static variables are stored in method area this is also one area one memory part and when memory get allocated so here memory get allocated for static variables at the time of class loading into memory so here we will access static variables by using class name that's it okay so here generally so we can represent we can represent 
common property by using static so here we will improve application performance by using static means no suppose ajum 100 employees are working in a company called tcs generally employee number and employee name vary from employee to employee but here uh, company name is common for all suppose you will declare company number as instance variable then for every object it will get memory allocated memory created right instead of avoiding that memory wastage we will define that common property by using static that's it okay now observe <clears throat> so here thing c name equal to tcs this is the common so for multiple employees now observe here observe here so i will create multiple this is first object so these two objects are working in a tcs so no need to define that company name as instance suppose we'll create define company name as stat instance variable every object memory will be allocated for static as uh, what company name so to avoid that memory wastage we will represent common property we will use static static variables memory get allocated at the time of class loading and static variables are stored in method area that's it yes now go ahead and ask the questions one by one hello if no doubts then i will go to next one sir hello yes. sir yes as you have explained blueprint and uh, object as a class class and object uh, so uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. yes, so check it blueprint is is a class and also apartment is also because you have written into the class no 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 Blue blueprint is the blueprint is the class apartment is the object uh, you have written both a class okay, okay, okay i will check okay here blue this is object okay. so any questions blueprint, we can't make uh, apartments huh? ha, 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 ha. So static variable uh, is not understand. So static variable is nothing but similar to instance variable only. So I will give one scenario to you. Suppose how many um, how many students are there in your please please how many how many students are there? Fifty four students are there, right? Fifty four students are learning the Java from Srinu Tech. Yes or no? Here what is the common? What is the common? Srinu Tech. Student. Srinu Tech. No, no. Student, student number and student name vary, right? Um, student, please. That's why I'm very restricted. Yes, that's why. Ram Babu, we will define common property here. Location. Location is not common, right? Location may be suppose some student from Hyderabad, some student from uh, Bangalore, some student from Karnataka, like this. Yes or no? So here in this case, Srinu is the common common for all students. Suppose you will define Srinu tech lines as each and every object level, nothing but each and every uh, student level instance variable. Every time memory get allocated, right? So getting the memory is wastage or better? Huh, wastage, right? That's why whatever common property is there, that property is represented as static. So that common property we will improve the application performance common property is common but all the students are referred to common property only so we will avoid memory wastage by using static so we will improve application performance by using static yeah any questions so first go through my notes if still any questions please let me know we'll discuss okay so can we have uh, multiple uh, uh, public classes in a single file no 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 generally that is wrong observe here specific functionality only one class is enough 
okay for you for you answer is only one public class any number of normal classes generally in a single file don't write multiple classes that's why right i am separated uh, every file single class only will maintain okay